Hello to everyone. So here's another lecture video under the subject EL103 Principles and Theories of Language Acquisition and Learning. So specifically, we're going to discuss the topic entitled Theories of Second Language Acquisition. And when we say a second language, it's the second language that uh, we acquired after our first language, obviously. Okay, so, of course, we're going to know the person behind this uh, theories of second language acquisition. And we have Stephen Krashen. So, Stephen Krashen is an expert in the field of linguistics, specializing in theories of uh, language acquisition and development. So, this uh, theory of second language acquisition has five hypotheses and so we have five we have acquisition learning hypothesis monitor hypothesis input hypothesis effective filter hypothesis natural order hypothesis so we're going to discuss this one by one uh, just a short discussion so first uh, we have the acquisition learning hypothesis and from the title itself we could know uh, the important concepts that we're going to tackle here so we have the uh, acquired system or acquisition and the learned system or learning so according to stephen krashen these are two independent systems of foreign language performance so let's have the acquired system or acquisition first it is the product of a subconscious process very similar to the process children undergo when they acquire their first language so it requires meaningful interaction in the target language or natural communication in which speakers are concentrated not in the form of their utterances but in the communicative act okay so we have already discussed uh, this uh, language acquisition from our previous videos so just uh, search them on my youtube channel and then we have the learn system or learning it is the product of a formal instruction and it comprises a conscious process which results in conscious knowledge about the language for example knowledge of grammar rules so here a deductive approach in a teacher-centered setting produces learning, while an inductive approach in a student-centered setting leads to acquisition. Okay, so actually, deductive and inductive are the teaching uh, approaches uh, which are discussed in a professional education subject okay so when we say deductive approach the teacher is the one teaching there and um, learning is done through the concepts the teacher teaches but uh, for the inductive approach is the other way around so it's the student is going to discover on how she will be able to learn the certain concept or language Okay, so the next one we have a monitor hypothesis. The monitor hypothesis explains the relationship between acquisition and learning and defines the influence of the latter on the former. The monitor function is the practical result of the learned grammar. So, according to Krashen, the acquisition system is the utterance initiator while learning system performs the role of the monitor or the editor so monitor hypothesis we're talking about the monitor here which is the editor okay so the role of the monitor is minor being used only to correct deviations from normal speech and to give speech a more polished appearance Question also suggests that there is individual variation among language learners with regards to monitor use. He distinguishes those learners that use the monitor all the time, so over users. Okay, so they always correct, they always edit. Okay, what is uh, to be corrected? Those learners who have not learned or who prefer not to use uh, their conscious knowledge on their users. Okay, so these are the things who really just don't want 
to use the knowledge that they already have to enhance their language and those learners that use the monitor appropriately so we call them optimal users an evaluation of the person's psychological profile can help to determine to what group they belong usually extroverts are under users while introverts and perfectionists are over users okay so um let's just uh, get that one perfectionist okay so they are over users because they really have this habit to correct to edit okay so we have the next one input hypothesis okay so the input hypothesis is only concerned with acquisition not learning according to this hypothesis the learner improves and progresses along the natural order when he or she receives second language input that is one step beyond his or her current stage of linguistic competence. Okay, so we have here the major com concept, the comprehensible input that belongs to level this one i plus one okay so i there is the input and then plus one is the next language added to the first language okay so for example your first language is pangasinan that's uh, brought by the usage of uh, the dialect you use at home but because you're exposed to other family members who use filipino filipino now is the second language you acquired so we have the next one the effective filter hypothesis Okay, so the effective filter hypothesis embodies questions view that a number of effective variables play a facilitative but non-causal role in second language acquisition. So these variables include motivation, self-confidence, anxiety, and personality traits. Question claims that learners with high motivation, self-confidence, a good self-image, a low level of anxiety, and extroversion are better equipped for success in second language acquisition. Low motivation, low self-esteem, anxiety, introversion, and inhibition can raise the effective filter and form a mental block that prevents comprehensible input from being used for acquisition. So these factors really play importantly to the second language acquisition of a child, especially for the confidence. Okay, so we have the next one, the natural order hypothesis. Okay, so it suggested that the acquisition of grammatical structures follow a natural order, which is predictable. This order seemed to be independent of the learner's age. Okay. L1 background, conditions of exposure, and although the ag agreement between individual acquirers was not always 100% in the studies, there were statistically significant similarities that reinforced the existence of a natural order of language acquisition. So it really depends on the learners. One learner's pace of learning is different from each other. Okay, so... There we go. My reference is that one. And thank you for listening to this lecture video. I hope that you learned from this and you are going to use this when you will be teaching soon. Okay, thank you and have a nice day.